What you see here is the unlocked BIOS options that are hidden normally from our Eleanor M18. Today, I'm going to show y'all how we access this menu. So, let's get started. Alright, so the program we're going to download is called UMAF. Um, and basically, what you're going to do is this is the website. I'll put a link in the description. We're going to go down here and we're going to click download. And then when you see this window on the right side here, there's a little download icon. So just click download. And then once it's downloaded, we're going to need another program called Rufus. So just type in Rufus in Google and we're going to click this link. Scroll down and we're going to download the portable version. You can download whichever version you want. doesn't matter. Uh, I just like having the portable version. And then we're going to extract the folder we downloaded earlier. So just extract this. And then once it's extracted, we're going to go ahead and launch Rufus. Now, before we launch Rufus, be sure to plug in your USB drive. So I'm just going to plug in my USB drive real quick. And then once your USB drive has been plugged in, uh, be sure to check what's on your USB drive because we're going to erase everything that's on there. So on mine, I just have a BIOS flash for my XPS laptop, so I don't mind formatting it. So just open up Rufus. And then once Rufus is open, we're going to choose non-bootable here. And then we're going to choose GPT for the partition scheme. And then we're just going to click start. It's going to warn you that everything's going to get erased. Just click OK and let it partition. Once it's done, uh, just go ahead and open the folder here and control A to select everything and control C and just control V it onto the USB root. So now I'm just going to go ahead and eject the USB and we'll boot up into the BIOS. All right, so now we're going to turn on the computer and we're going to hold F2 because we need to go into the BIOS and we need to turn off secure boot so that we can boot from the USB. So we're going to go to boot configuration here. And then once you come to boot configuration, you will see down here, there is a secure boot section. So basically we're gonna turn off secure boot. And once that's off, we're gonna exit and boot by pressing F12 from the USB. So the boot menu is here. So we're gonna select the USB disk. Then you're gonna see this. And you should show up here. So now here we're gonna select Intel Advanced Menu and press enter and here you go these are all the advanced settings so depending on what you want to do there's a lot of settings here so i'm just going to show you guys a couple of things so cpu configuration um, you have some things you can change here you can change some of the cores so power and performance we have some power control here so these are the settings you can change here power limits can change the power limits which is really nice here we have cpu lock configuration so cfg lock is disabled and overclocking lock is disabled so if you copy these settings you should be able to basically overclock and undervolt and then the other one is the overclock performance menu so you can enable it and then here you go undervolt protection is disabled so by disabling this, you are able to undervolt your laptop. So this is the main thing that you want to change here. But for those of you curious, there are other things here you can do, as you can see. There's lots of voltages you can change too, which is cool. And then this is the one I'm interested in, memory configuration. So if you go click memory here, I'm going to skip this. As you can see, you can turn on a few things. I already did turn these on already. But here are some things. You can even change the ratios. So let me know in the comments if you're able to change these things because I haven't tested this just yet, but the fact that this is here is pretty cool. So yeah, once you're done with everything, you can just get out of here and you can basically continue to boot by clicking this button. Well, I hope that helped you. Now, this was obviously the easy way of doing things and it doesn't work on a lot of computers. For instance, my ninth generation Alienware Air 51, this doesn't show any advanced menu. My 12th generation X14, it doesn't show any advanced menu. So it works on 13th gen, it works on AMD laptops. It should work on most modern laptops, hopefully. Let me know in the comments if it doesn't. And by the way, for some of you who like more advanced things, the next tutorial, we're actually gonna dump the BIOS and we're gonna use reu.efi and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it 
manually. But obviously this is way easier to do if you want to do it this way. So I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if y'all get the memory stuff working because I haven't tested that yet. And as always, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.